G'day guys, welcome back, it's episode 2 of Shanghai Shenhua, Football Manager 2015, it's our birdie, g'day, how you going? Um, so one thing I'll quickly say is, guys, I apologise for the last video, um, you know, for the, the audio mic, uh, it was not good enough, um, you know, I was using OBS at that time, but, you know, this time I'm starting to do Camtasia, and I thought it was my mic or something was going on, but, in fact, I didn't have the mic volume setting pretty high, so, uh, I apologize for that. This time, I fixed it, and it's it seems to be going well now, and so, uh, this video will be better. Um, so, yeah, so for people who, who haven't really, didn't really hear about it, the reason I'm doing this save is because... Uh, me being Australian and my favorite player is Tib Kale. Um, I've never managed him as a cl in a club on FM ever. Um, you know, I've never managed him. I've only managed him with the Australian national team. Um, so this time I've decided to, to do a YouTube series of Shanghai Shenhua and just to see how we going. Um, and that's, yeah, I really wanted to, to, uh, to see how I would do and, see how he would go under my management so that's it um yeah so like i said guys we'll start here now um you know i think the last episode you saw was uh you know the last season um yeah bugger sorry about that um was we started halfway through the year, and what I planned to do was uh, holiday till uh, I think it was December seventeenth. I think it was. I just holidayed till there, and that's where I really started. And this is how we they finished last year. And um, yeah, it's not really that good. Uh, we're gonna have to do a lot better this year. You know, my goal in this save is I wanna win the champ, win, win the Chinese League, win the Champions League. And then win the Club World Cup all when Tim Cahill is at Shanghai Shenhua. That's what I plan to do and that's what I want to do. Um, so yeah, uh, well, that's what the goal is. So it's, you know, he's 34 years of age now. You know, he's probably only played till when he's like 37, 38, I hope. So, uh, you know, we got about three, four years of lucky of doing it. So it is pretty tough, but, you know, we're going to give it a go and a good shot and see what happens. But that's how we finished last year. Not good enough. We're going to have to do a lot better. Uh, the board, you know, I'm a bit lucky right now because at the end of the season, I was at precarious for job security. Uh, but now, as you can see, it's on a stable. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, the board, you know, they really want me to finish high mid-table, but I'm kind of giving myself a bit more high expectations. I want to make the Champions League next year. And that's what I plan to do. Um, and this is the other goals. I mean, they want high-profile signings. So, yeah. So, that's it. Um, you know, one other thing we'll say was uh, Kyle's contract was ex set to expire, um, you know, December of 2015 this year. But I also, exp um, you know, I extended it to 2018. So, that's that's going to give us some time. So, now we'll go over it now. Uh, this is the squad. Um, you know, one thing I'll say in this... This is now for the Chinese league. I wasn't aware of. You're only allowed four foreigners plus one Asian player. So um, in your in your starting eleven. So you know that was what was pretty difficult. Um, you know you'll see in my transfers there was already some foreigners here, but I got rid of them. Um, but one of those foreigners could not be a goalkeeper. So uh, you know our goalkeeper he's okay, but. Obviously, Sheng, or Zhang Zhao has the best goalkeeper of Chinese player. So, that's it. Um, so, here's the foreigner. I got, obviously, you know, as you all know, KL. But this is the other foreigner, Stapula Sanzo. And I'm a bit surprised. This guy's 25. And look at those stats. I mean, that's, that, is, that is really good for a center back, you know, in any league. I mean, this guy could play in Europe if he wants to. But... I mean, obviously, I'm not sure. Obviously, it's money, I guess. I don't know. Um, you know, he was at Socho for a bit there, but now he's not deciding to want to play and wants to come to China. I mean, 
So, um, it's a bit weird, but, I mean, he's he's the one. I was thinking of, because what I was planning to do with my faunas, what I wanted to do was get rid of all of them, bring in my own, except Kyle, but, um, you know, I decided to keep Sunzo because, you know, that this is this is just, you know, he's probably the best center back with these uh, these stats in this league. Uh, so, I mean, we can't really, we're not gonna. I mean, that's that's really good for uh, for uh, this this particular quality of league. Um, and then, as you can see, it's all Chinese players. Um, you know, so let's look at this. I mean, look at Kyle. Look at all those stats there. I mean, that's attributes are really good. Obviously, his heading and his bravery and um, his teamwork work right is what he's really known for. And then we'll go to, uh, let's look at the 1.1 million guy, Zhang Lu. Now, look at those stats. I mean, so it's it shows what kind of quality the foreigners are compared to the Chinese players. Um, there are a few, there are actually, you know, I, I mean, there are really good Chinese players. I mean, Lu Zhang. This guy, he's going to be good for me on the wings. Um, but yeah, I mean, it kind of shows that the foreigners are the go-to guys that are going to lead people to victory. And that's why I really thought, you know, this save could really fun for that. But when I kind of saw this, I mean, ah, this is going to be pretty difficult, you know, especially in the Club World Cup. If we can get there, you know, with like the likes of, you know, Real Madrid or, or Bayern Munich or something. So uh, <laughs> it'll be pretty tough. But... So, so that's the team. Um, the reserves, I've already, like I say, guys, I'll show on the transfers what I've really done. Um, but a lot of these guys I'm never going to apply. I've already listed a few of them. Um, I think I might, you know, I'm not really generating interest, so I might just release them all. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm really planning to do. Uh, you know, probably only this guy upward. I might really give opportunities. Um... But yeah, I mean, it kind of shows that, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens anyway. Under 18s, uh, you know, they're also there. Um, you know, kind of funny that the reserves, there's a lot of reserves, but not too many under 19s. Um, and when there are a few under 19s. In fact, you know what, I might give, I might drop some of these guys to the under 19s. But yeah, so I mean, that's the team. You know, we'll go over the tactics now, and, you know, although my FM series, I always play a 4-4-1-1, and my defensive tactics a bit, you know, you drop two guys down, he's a he's a roaming playmaker with an anchor man, whereas in this one, deep lying forward, or deep lying playmaker with a ball winning midfielder, um, you know, it is set to poacher, but, you know, uh, once Tim's up there, if I decide to play him up top, um, you know, he can play in the target man, um, you know, this winger's on set to attack, and that's on set to support. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, set pieces, uh, I've set them all. That's going to, uh, like, with Kyle's heading ability and and his willingness to get those balls, uh, I've all these, all these set pieces, guys, I've set, that's going to expose and really benefit Kyle. I mean, that's all I've done, really. Um, and so, uh, that's that's how I've set up all these um, these set pieces, is to really, uh, really get Kyle. I, I've set him that Kyle is, is going to be benefiting the most. That's what I've done. And so, you know, now I just hopefully that... <clears throat> That uh, he uh, he can get a lot of them. Um, actually, I'll put him in there as well. That he can get a lot of those. So uh, that's what I've set on both the tactics for the set pieces. Um, is is really trying to just get Kyle to be at the the end of them. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the tactics now. Now we'll go into the transfers, guys. And what I actually no, it's yeah. I'll go on the here first, actually. Um, so as you can see in China, yeah, it's it's money driven. Um, you know, let's just look at it. I mean, <clears throat> you know, we started this. You know, there's 25 million with 20k left in wage budget. But you know, I kind of want to drop it down a bit. Um, and I mean, yeah, it's all money. Uh, 
you know, a lot of money is set to go to, to a lot of the foreigners. Um, you know, I've still done some with the scouts, but yeah, so that's that's how it is, which I, I don't mind at all. Now we're getting the transfers, and yeah, so uh, as you can see, I've done a lot of free transfers. I mean, all of those guys are guys that, you know, were in the reserves. I'm never going to play them. Um, this guy, yo, he was one of my foreigners. He wasn't really generating much interest. And, you know, he was only making, I think, like 9000 a week. This guy's actually also um, part of Australian as well. Um, it is pretty good for his stats. But, I mean, like I said, guys, I kind of want to bring my own foreigners in and uh, really uh, play the way I want to play. So I released him. Lucas Fiatri, um, he was uh, a foreigner. Uh, uh, sold him to Banfield. You know, a couple of these Chinese guys were in the reserves, and I just kind of listed them, and offers came in. So I said, Yeah, sure, why not? You could take them. Uh, nothing really too rational. Losses there. Um, Paulo Enriquez, Enrique, he goes to Shang Zhao Evergrande. Um, you know, he was pretty striker up front. Uh, you know, he was actually doing pretty good um, in this league. At Shanghai, you know, last year I think he was a leading goal scorer, but you know, he's he's had he's had um, options in Europe, but again, foreigners rule. I I want to bring in my own. Same with Giovanni Moreno. This guy was actually really consistent because look, I mean that's 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 really good. Uh, you know, besides composure, that's really good uh, in positioning. I guess um, the stats is is pretty good for this type of player. Um, you know, but it, luckily I sold him because now he's out four to five months with a broken leg. So, uh, you know, I mean, he he he, was, he is a pretty good player. Um, don't get me wrong. So, um, but, I mean, I want to bring in my own, like I said. Um, one of my Chinese guys, he was a goalkeeper, the backup. Uh, I sold him. 45K wasn't bad. So, yeah. Um, so now the guys that I've brought in... Um, do well, uh, I, I, I'm not sure how you say it, but 32 years of age for a center back, and this guy, I think he's going to be pretty good, um, you know, 15 heading and bravery for uh, a center back, you know, you know, he's probably one of the better center backs for Chinese players, and, you know, he's been at Shanghai before, uh, and he's been around, um, so, um, yeah, and I only got him for 13k, so, uh, you know, I like the, the signing, and, um, yeah, I think he's, he's really going to help us, him and Sunzo in the pairing. Um, I think they're going to be really good. Um, the way I see it for center backs, guys, is once he gets to around 29 to 34, you know, th that's a good age for me. And, um, except, wow, I didn't see this. Unavailable to play football due to personal reasons until January 1st, 2016. Wow. <sighs> I did not see that, but that is garbage. Oh, my God. So, I, well, it's 13K, but still. Oh, man. He was one of my really good guys that I wanted to uh, bugger. So, I didn't see that. Um, wonder might be a way that I could... Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so I'll address that anyway. But this is the other guy I brought in, Zhu Tong. Um, you know, he's going to play on either side, which is looking good. Uh, you know, I look at the crossing. I mean, I look at some of these other players that I got on the wings. Um, crossing isn't that great. And, you know, they have the pace, but the crossing and the dribbling. So this guy is actually going to do pretty good. Um, and he had 16 assists last year. So... <clears throat> so, you know, him on the sides of crossings with Kyle's ability, uh, I think it's it's going to be pretty good. And so I'm happy with that signing. Um, that's all I've really done. Um, you know, I will go to the transfer center now. This is one guy I've offered a uh, a, tra a contra or a transfer or a contract. He's a free agent, Zlatan Muslimovic. Um, you know, with these stats, he's going to be pretty good. Obviously, he's not as good as uh, Paulo Henrique, but um, he, he's got the the experience. Um, you know, he's an experienced player. 
and and he's got the goal scoring prowess. Obviously, he's been at the Chinese League last year. Um, no, he only played. Well, that's you know. He's, but he's he's been in Europe, right? So I'm happy with that. Um, Nashada Kram is another guy I'm trying to hopefully bring in. You know, he's another older player, but um, he can really dictate our our central midfield if we if I could bring him in. Um, but yeah, so those two guys I'm really looking at. But one thing, guys, as I will say, you know, I've also looked at numerous other, you know, what I'm trying to really want to do is I want to bring in a big name type player. Um, you know, I look at the short list of guys I've tried, you know, Charlie Adams listed, Adebayor, Matri, Ronaldinho, um, this guy, Omar Abdurrahim, Omar Abdurrahim, uh, you know, I, th I still could maybe go after him if I want. <clears throat> but as you can see, some of these other big names like Pizarro, Suazo. I've looked at uh, um, Perlo. Uh, they all just don't want to come. Rafael da Van der Vaart, another player, Dirk Count. You know, I've looked at a few players. Uh, Maxi Rodriguez. Some of the names have come from Lolo the, the Samurai. I kind of asked him and he gave me some of those names. But... It's just, it's frustrating because no one wants to come. So, uh, um, so yeah, I've kind of looked at that. Tommy Yurich is another guy, you know, this is another guy I really like, but, um, I mean, look at this. This this is insane what he wants. You know, I'll go 2017, you know, 14.5K, you know, I think that's pretty good for a player of Tommy Yurich's caliber. And this is insane. He wants 94k in wages for Tommy Yurich. You know, Tommy Yurich, he's a good player. You know, I I like him. He's you know he's going to be good for us in the future. But I mean, he's not that good for 94k. So uh, so it's it's just frustrating looking at that. Amarzaki, another guy, an Egyptian. I've kind of looked at, but. He's not really too keen. Well, actually, now he is, but 58k for this guy, actually. So, you know what? That could be something we might... You know, if Muslimovic deal doesn't go through, Amir Zaki, you know, he could maybe be an option as well because he's been around. And he's and he's, and he's a goal scorer. You know, he's been around, uh, you know, the Egyptian side. So, we'll see. But like I say, guys, um, what I'm kind of getting point here is... Um, you know, if you guys have some names of players that uh, would be willing to come to China in the Chinese league, um, you know, by all means, you know, write them down in the comments and, uh, you know, I'll give them a go. Uh, like I say, I kind of want some big name type players, you know, like, uh, you know, like, you know, obviously MLS, you know, Kaka or, or, uh, Gerard or something like that. Um, you know, just a player of that, you know, cause Shanghai, they've, they've been able to bring players. I mean, they got Kyle. Um, you know, they brought in Drogba a couple years ago. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of looking at for a player like that. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm really trying to look at here is is player like of that caliber. Um, you know, obviously, uh, Stunzo, you know, he's in his prime. You know, he's not even in his prime yet, 25 years of age. But uh, he can really do well for that. Um but yeah, I mean, other than that, um, guys, is is pretty much it. I mean, that's the first video I've already, I've only really done. Um, actually, I've brought in some staff as well. Um, kind of redone the uh, the training, um, which I feel is it's okay. But I mean, it can be better. Um, you know, for for me as a manager, you know, I'm a I'm a, a defending manager. You know, it's just always always played. Um, but you know, this Nelson was the one I brought in, Alejandro Lara. <clears throat> it's a shooting coach, you know, so these guys are pretty good uh, coaches for what I'm looking at here. Uh, <clears throat> some more staff as well as is the scouting, you know, the scouting is the one issue that I'm really kind of frustrating in. Um, you know, chief scout is only 8-8 eight and eight for potential and whatnot. These, and this, and crazy enough, I mean, this is the best I could really find. It's pretty... Pretty bad, um, eight and seven, 
and a seven and seven. So the scouting is something that I'm kind of concerned about because <clears throat> you know if I get like a Brazilian scout, I've tried to get one, um, and like I say, it's the same thing. No one wants to come here, uh, and it's frustrating. So um, I think what I might have to do was, you know, for the foreigners right now, I might have to get them. <clears throat> You know, on a one-year deal at the moment, and then hopefully, you know, do well in the league and 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 qualify for Champions League, and maybe that might get more um, players to come. <clears throat> so uh, that's what I'm hoping for, but you know, we'll we'll see. But yeah, so I mean, other than that, guys, that's really been what I've done here. Um, you know, the season is pretty starting; it's pretty soon. You know, the Asia Cup final. You know, the Asian Cups going on in Australia right now, and of course, in real life, we won the Asian Cup, and we're actually in the final against Iran in this. So uh, it should be pretty good, um, and Kyle's doing well for us on international duty. <clears throat> so, um, but yeah, the season is starting up pretty soon here. I've set up a few uh, friendlies already, um, Shanghai Reserves, and then this People's Cup thing that, you know, uh, this uh, De Young side invited me to so you know I just decided why not um, and then a couple of other friendlies and then the season doesn't get started really till uh, you know so we still got a month and a bit so um, so yeah maybe what we'll do here is uh, you know the first episode you know I'll go through all this this and then do another transfer up and then um, first episode will maybe just show the home opener and uh, see what happens so uh, Hope you guys are all enjoying this, guys. And um, like I said, if you guys have any names of big players that um, you think can maybe come here, uh, you know, by all means, uh, say it in the comments, and you know, I'll see what happens and see if I can bring him in. Um, and yeah, so uh, hope you guys are enjoying this, guys. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I'm also playing my own personal save as well, and I'm playing both kind of at the same time. So sometimes videos will come. Um, you know, on a day by day basis, obviously I'm still I'm working as well, so it's a bit tough. But um, you know, I'll just try and get up as much some as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, I hope you hope guys are enjoying this. I am, and um, see what happens, and we'll try and get the season going next video. So uh, hope you guys are enjoying it, and I'll see you guys later.